Hello everyone, welcome to InfoSec Daily. In today's session, we are going to talk about the most commonly used tool Nmap. So what is Nmap? Well, it stands for Network Mapper and as the name suggests, it is a tool used to map a network. So what exactly is Nmap? Well, basically, Nmap is a footprinting or a reconnaissance tool. If you are new to ethical hacking, then this is the first step of hacking where you actually find the information about the target, IP or the website. It is a must-have tool for pen testers and ethical hackers. It is an open source tool that is widely used uh, for network discovery and security auditing. It is mostly used to identify what devices are running on the system, discovering hosts that are available and the services they offer, finding open ports and detecting security risks. It was basically designed for monitoring large networks, but it can also be used to monitor a single network. The beauty of this tool is that it can be easily installed on all the major operating systems like Windows, Linux and Mac and it also comes with a GUI functionality if you are not a command line interface user but the GUI version comes under the name of ZenMap. So let's talk about the installation process is really easy. All you have to do is go to the official website of NMAP which is nmap.org and here you can see a download option where you can see the download option for Windows, Linux and Mac you can download it as per your OS so I have Windows so I'm gonna download so you need to agree so make sure all of the option is it install So if you want the uh, CLI version then you need to tick this option for CLI version as well. So it might take a while. Okay it's completed. So for the CLI version, open the command prompt and type in nmap and you can see the CLI version is available. So uh, to run the commands, all you have to do is write nmap and the parameters behind it. So you also have a GUI version which is called ZenMap and this is really easy to use as uh, it has all the, it's user friendly. So here you can see the target where you have to write the IP address or the domain name and uh, here is a profile where you can do intense scan, intense scan along with UDP, ping scan, quick scan, regular scans and here you can see the output. So if you are new to this tool and you know nothing about this tool then the first thing you can do is type in nmap hyphen hyphen help. So this will basically list all the parameters that are available with nmap and here you can see the parameters. So these are called the flags and these are, uh, so this shows what the flags do. Here you can see hyphen sl, this will list the scans, uh, hyphen sn will ping the scans and uh, here you have an example as well. Here you can see nmap which initializes your nmap and then uh, these two are the flags which I told earlier and then these this is the network which I are going to scan. So let us scan facebook.com and see what results we will get. So nmap facebook.com So this will scan real quick. Here you can see the date when it was scanned uh, then the time and it is a Nepal standard time so here is a report we got uh, this is an IP address of facebook.com so you can see the host is up which means the host is online and uh, you can see uh, which are the open ports which are closed so yeah you, here you can see only the ports and here is a topology so
so here is a graph uh, which will show the path through which the scan passed before reaching the final destination uh, so here uh, it directly reached facebook.com but sometimes uh, it there is a very long path between before it reaches facebook.com so here are the host results which shows the host is up online so open ports filtered ports closed ports scanned ports it also shows the ip and yeah it is really very easy to use it you can also save the scan for later use and Here you can see the scans, different kind of scans which are X scan, fin scan, null scan, TCP scans, uh, which you can do for Facebook.com. So now let us scan Google.com and see what results we can find. So scanning link has started, and this here is the date when the scan has been performed and it is there is also the time which is nepal standard time so there are 151 scripts for scanning so it might take a while so now we can see the nmap is done one ip address one host is up uh, it took one 108.90 seconds to complete the scan so 2118 raw packets were sent this is the output this is the trace route through which uh, it reached the final destination so you can see the open ports here and here you can see the topology So this is the, gra the graph that shows the path through which the scan passed before reaching the final destination. So uh, it went to this, then this, and this, and finally to google.com. And here is the host detail. It shows the state is up, which means the host is online. There are two open ports and 998 filtered ports, and there are no closed ports. So the total scan ports are 1000 so this is the time this was the last boot uh, you can see the ip address and you can see the host name and you can see the operating system of the server is linux you can see the port used. you can see os classes uh, you can see um, this tcp sequence you can see all the details you can save this uh, scan and also if you want to uh, perform uh, uh, types of scan like X scan, fin scan, non scan. Then you can see where here are the commands to perform those scans. So you you can go ahead and try it. It's really fun scanning a network. So now you know what is Nmap and how to use it. Let's talk about some of its pros and cons. Well, the first best thing about this tool is that it is very user friendly. The tool is built in scripts that allow for vulnerability testing. The tool makes it easier to find open ports and it has highly accurate endpoint identification. The tool also checks firewall rules. The tool is great to ensure the internal and external networks are secure. So now you know how great this tool is. Let's talk about the con of this tool. Well, it is a very noisy scanner. What I mean by this is that it can be easily detected by firewalls and servers. So they actually know that you are scanning them. The real charm of using uh, this tool is not scanning a server or a site or an IP, but how you do it without being detected. One of the way is using proxy chains. So if you use Nmap properly, then that will help your network from invaders from entering your system. But if the same tool is used improperly, then it can get you sued, fired, jailed, or even banned by ISPs. So what do you think? Is it legal or illegal? Well, it is totally fine to scan your own system or scan someone's system with their permission. But if you use this tool to hamper someone's system, 
then it is illegal. There are even cases where people have been jailed by just scanning someone's uh, system without their permission. So talking about my experience with this tool has been really helpful and you should also go ahead and try it. So if you have any queries, you can comment below or contact us through Instagram. The link to Instagram page is on the description below. If this video was helpful, do like this video. And if you are new to this channel, do subscribe. This is Kripa signing out.